right back. The biggest Nvidia update ever. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Earp Mask and their rotating headphone hook. If you don't want your nice new pair of headphones cluttering your desk or getting stepped on, Earp Mask has the perfect solution with their rotating headphone holder. Not only does it fit a huge amount of desk thanks to the adjustable clamp, but it also rotates allowing you to move your headphones out of the way when they're not needed. In fact, this holder is so good I actually ordered one for myself before they even sent me one and it's been exactly what I was looking for. So what are you waiting for? Go click the link in the description below and order yours today. That's right, you guys are not going to want to miss today's video because I have some very exciting information to go over with you. If you're interested in purchasing or already own an NVIDIA graphics card, as well as some other very, very interesting information that we have got to take a look at. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into that first story, which this one actually has to do with GPU sales as a whole. And this is going to be absolutely huge news for gamers as this is indicating that yes, GPU prices will likely be falling in the near future future. Now we have heard many rumors of GPUs like the RTX 4080 potentially getting a price drop in the near future and I've also heard that sales are not doing super great. Now they are selling RTX 40 series cards don't get me wrong but from what I'm hearing it's not doing nearly as well as they were hoping and to make matters worse well according to some new information that was posted in a John Petty research report. It looks like GPU sales as a whole are absolutely plummeting. In fact, as much as 38%. So if you're a PC gamer and you're thinking of buying a graphics card, well, with such declining sales, yes, there is a good chance that GPUs will continue to drop in price. In fact, the AMD cards, and I did say continue for a reason, have already been dropping in price on certain models, especially the 7900 XT. I have seen many many articles suggesting that in many places around the world you can already get them for well below their MSRP. Now I still think they're overpriced at around $830. I do think the 7900 XT does have to drop to around probably $750 to $700 before it becomes a really good deal. But as you can see, yes, there's a lot of signs pointing to GPU prices declining. And this is just more information leading to the same results of better prices for PC gamers. But to make things even more interesting, it looks like AMD has been hit especially hard as it seems they've actually dropped from 18% market share all the way back in quarter four of 2021 to now just 9% in quarter four of 2022 and likely still declining. Whereas Intel actually went from 5% DGPU. So do keep in mind, this is not including the CPUs with integrated graphics. This is dedicated graphics cards. They went from 5% all the way to 9% in quarter four of 2022. So if these trends continue, guys, it looks like by the end of 2023, we could be talking about the second biggest DGPU seller in the market is no longer gonna be AMD, but in fact, Intel, especially if they do actually manage to get their next series of GPUs out this year. Now it's starting to sound more likely that 2024 will be the year, hopefully early 2024, although we can't rule out, hey, maybe we could be getting Battle Mage by the end of this year. And if that happens, I'm almost certain at that point that Intel will become the true competitor to Nvidia as not only is AMD not selling graphics cards, but they seem content to not really compete with Nvidia whatsoever, just simply slotting in their graphics cards at a slightly lower price and slightly less performance than Nvidia, which is not what I would call true competition. So hopefully Intel can continue to move units and give us very aggressive pricing as well as good performance and big performance increases with their next generation of GPUs because my God, do we need it? But now let's go ahead and move on to the second story. And guys, this is another huge story for PC gamers, especially if you own an NVIDIA graphics card, which as we just saw is going to be the vast majority of the market. Now what's happening here is that NVIDIA has released their biggest update for their GPUs possibly ever. In fact, this is going to be such a huge deal. It could completely change the way we use our graphics cards forever starting now. What am I talking about? Well, they finally released a new 
new driver, which of course does have some fixes, but the big thing in it is that it actually brings out somewhat of a form of DLSS, I guess you could say, for online video. And this is absolutely a huge deal. It's specifically called Video Super Resolution. Now, in my testing, it's not quite as good as DLSS, but it does definitely have its uses. And again, this is huge news for PC gamers as a whole because a big problem that we have with online video streaming or even YouTube is that the quality definitely suffers when it gets compressed. But what this new technology does is it uses your GPU and AI algorithms to go ahead and try and reconstruct that video. I guess you could think of it in a similar way to DLSS, although I'm sure it does work entirely differently in order to create a much higher quality image. So if you do choose to enable this, all you got to do is go into your video control panel and go down to your video options, enable it and set it to the quality option that you want. The higher the number, the better the output is going to be. So this is going to be a great solution for all of those highly compressed Twitch and YouTube streams that just don't look so great. And there's a lot of images out there that show you how much it can improve a bad video input. Now again, like I mentioned, and I'll show an image on screen here, I didn't see a huge improvement in select scenarios. So it does seem to be one of those technologies that it is gonna make a big difference in some videos and not in others, because if you take a look at the photo that I'm gonna be showing you guys the before and after, it doesn't make a huge difference. There is less blockiness around the streamer's neck, but other than that, there isn't really any other huge improvements, likely because of how ridiculously blocky this stream was. So hopefully it can continue to improve over time, but this is a great first step into eliminating the bandwidth problem that we have with sharing videos online. I cannot wait to see what NVIDIA has to share next with their new AI technology. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think this is the future of technology or do you think this is just an NVIDIA gimmick? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.